alpha amino adipic semi-aldehyde synthase, mitochondrial, Wikipedia article audio. NM005763 NM013930 Function Mechanism NP005754 NP038958 Alpha-aminoatopic semi-aldehyde synthase is an enzyme encoded by the AASS gene in humans and is involved in their major lysine degradation pathway. It is similar to the separate enzymes coded for by the LYS1 and LYS9 genes in yeast, and related to, although not similar in structure, the bifunctional enzyme found in plants. In humans, mutations in the AASS gene, and the corresponding alpha-aminoatopic semi-aldehyde synthase enzyme are associated with familial hyperlysinemia. This condition is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern and is not considered a particularly negative condition, thus making it a rare disease. The alpha-aminoatopic semi-aldehyde synthase protein catalyzes the first two steps in the mammalian L-lysine degradation via saccharopin pathway within the mitochondria, which is thought to be the main metabolic route for lysine degradation in upper eukaryotes. The specific subpathway that this enzyme focuses on is the synthesis of glutaryl-CoA from L-lysine. Glutaryl CoA can act as an intermediate in a more expanded conversion slash degradation pathway from L lysine to acetyl CoA. Two noticeable components of the L lysine degradation via saccharopin pathway are the intermediately used reaction slash product glutamate and the eventual carbon sink acetyl CoA. Glutamate is an important compound within the body which acts as a neurotransmitter tied to learning and Huntington's disease. Acetyl-CoA is arguably of an even higher level of importance, acting as one of the integral components of the citric acid slash Krebs cycle, with the primary function of delivering an acetyl group to be oxidized for energy production. Thus, the function of alpha-aminoatopic semi-aldehyde synthase is tied to the levels of two integral compounds within the body. Structure First, the N-terminal portion of this enzyme which contains lysine, ketoglutarate reductase activity condenses lysine and 2-oxyglutarate to a molecule called saccharopin. Then, the C-terminal portion of this enzyme, which contains saccharopin dehydrogenase activity, catalyzes the oxidation of saccharopin to produce alpha-aminoatopic semi-aldehyde and glutamate. Note, these reactions are the reverse of the corresponding steps in the lysine biosynthesis pathways present in yeast and fungi. These reactions can be visualized as well in reaction equation form. Disease relevance. NL lysine plus NADP plus plus H2O equals L lysine plus 2 oxyglutarate plus NAD followed by NL lysine plus NAD plus plus H2O equals L glutamate plus dash 2 amino 6 oxyhexanote plus NADH. The native human enzyme is bifunctional, much like the LKR slash should found in plants, and thus, is thought to be similar in structure. The bifunctionality of this enzyme comes from the fact that it contains two distinct active sites, one at its C-terminal, and one at its N-terminal. The C-terminal portion of alpha-aminoatopic semi-aldehyde synthase contains the SHD activity and the N-terminal portion contains LKR. To date, a structure of alpha-aminoatopic semi-aldehyde synthase has not been determined. The enzyme does not have linker region present in plants between its C and N termini, so theories suggest the actual structure contains an LKR activity region bound to an SHD activity region, like that in Magnoporthygria.
Alpha amino adipic semialdehyde synthase is encoded for by the AASS gene, and mutations in this gene lead to hyperlysinemia. This is characterized by impaired breakdown of lysine which results in elevated levels of lysine in the blood and urine. These increased levels of lysine do not appear to have any negative effects on the body. Other names for this condition include Hyperlysinemia is characterized by elevated plasma lysine levels that exceed 600 moles L and can reach up to 2000 moles L. These increased levels of lysine do not appear to have any negative effects on the body. The main reason for this is that several alternative biochemical reactions can take place. First, Lysine can be used in place of ornithine in the urea cycle resulting in the production of homoarginine. Additionally, even though most mammals use the saccharopin pathway for most lysine degradation, the brain has an alternative pathway which goes through an L-pipicolic acid intermediate, both of these can be seen in the figure. It is important to note that path 1 takes place in the mitochondria while path 2 takes place in the peroxisome. Looking at other key enzymes within the L-lysine degradation pathway, ALDH7A1 is deficient in children with pyridoxine-dependent seizures. GCDH is deficient in glut eric aciduria type 1. The intermediate 2-oxoadipate is metabolized by 2-oxoadipate dehydrogenase, resembling the citric acid slash Krebs cycle enzyme complex 2-oxoglutarate dehydrogenase. Two types of familial hyperlysinemia have been described so far. Type I is associated with a combined deficiency of the two enzyme activities, LOR and SDH whereas in familial hyperlysinemia type 2 only the saccharopin dehydrogenase activity is impaired. Type 2 hyperlysinemia is also referred to as saccharopinuria. An additional condition shown to be related to hyperlysinemia is dianoyl COA reductase deficiency, though this is a relatively recent discovery and there are not many publications supporting this. Alpha amino adipic semialdehyde deficiency disease, familial hyperlysinemia, lysine alpha ketoglutarate reductase deficiency disease, saccharopin dehydrogenase deficiency disease, saccharopinuria.